Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? Here I am again, back in the building. Try to jump in one of my famous diatribes, so let's go in. Today, I you know, well, this, oh, this video came about because we were talking on... Uh, I was in this group on Facebook and we were talking about homosexuality. And pro there were pro people women, there were con people and then one well, like people were saying, you know, the usual linchpins to get you get you dumb Negroes to believe for slavery this and the fifth. But see, I kicked it to them in a different way. See fundamentally Slavery, slavery was a second accepted majority. The majority of it was in this country. Slavery was accepted. It don't mean it's right. And that's what people understand. Just because you have a majority of something, you don't mean it's right. Slavery was accepted in this country. And there was a war for slavery. Now, slavery is slavery isn't right morally. We know this. Everybody knows. This. I don't care who you are, slavery isn't right. But yet it was accepted because the majority accepted it. The majority accepts a lot of things that aren't right for the people. Look at the Spanish Inquisition back in the day. That was accepted. Look at the Holocaust. That was accepted. And I compare homosexuality to that. The Holocaust. Rallying up Jewish people, putting them in death camps. That was accepted by a majority of the Germans. Nobody saw it. I mean, there were some who said, hey man, what's going on here? But more and more often than not, they gave a blind eye to it. And see, that's the problem in this country. We think because when a majority says so, it's, it's right. Now, just because a majority says something, that doesn't mean it's right. I mean, look, let me tell you something. That's like we were just talking about, well, the only difference between child molestation, bestiality, and homosexuality is the other ones haven't been written under the law yet. And listen when I say yet, because while well, these deviants are going to court, it should be no surprise that once gay marriage came about, you get people file, filing in court for like marrying kids and stuff. This this ain't this ain't me. This is real life, Adam. This is facts. And uh it should be no surprise that all of a sudden this is happening. Now, I don't, look, I don't care what you do with your life, as long as you're not hurting anybody. I'm just making points. You get mad at my points, but it is what it is. Now, just because, like I said, but you know the thing about it is with homosexuality? Because everybody has that one relative, that one friend, that one person, you know, oh, and all of a sudden it's supposed to be acceptable. There are Christians, there are religious people, well, not Christians, they're religious people. So-called religious people who accept that. And their own God doesn't accept it, but they do. And then they give you the run around about how oh God, you, you see the verses where God talks about this. Granted, it was the Bible was written for somebody, somebody that wasn't there probably, but just translated. But the problem is, just just because you have a majority, the majority is always right, and which is, is not the case. It's just that you just have a majority of people that say, hey, this is the way it is. Like I said, there, there were people, colored folks who drank out of different water fountains, went to different restaurants. And the majority okay that. Was it right? No. There were people who still have fought for that, but they're more, more often than not. It was it was accepted practice, and that's how I feel about homosexuality. Just because you know so and so is homosexual, doesn't give you the right to say, "Well, hey, all of a sudden, hey, look, throw out all the pages." Better yet, you throw the pages out of the Bible who don't apply. See, when you start throwing out that, then I can start throwing out other things that I have to want to do now. I'll be like, "Well, you let them get a pass. Why don't you let me?" You can't pick and choose your spots in your religion, which a lot of you are doing. Like I don't hate, I don't hate the center. I hate what they're doing. Like if my dude robbed, if one of my homeboys robbed a bank or a store and killed somebody, 
It's still my homeboy. I, mean, I don't like what you did. I definitely don't like you killing no innocents. But be like, what you doing? You know what I mean? But that's the problem in America. We think we have this mentality where the majority rules, which is the way it should be, okay. But if that's the case, we can bring back slavery any minute. We can legalize child molestation any minute. Which I hope none of that happens. But at the end, at the end of the proverbial day, the majority rules. So, this little thought on that, I, I suspect I have, I'm tired of hearing all this other crap that I'm getting from these pro homosexual groups. Well, well, slavery, well, slavery was an accepted practice. It wasn't right, but it was an accepted practice. What you're doing isn't right and isn't accepted practice. So I'm out. Peace. Just fine.